It's a good day. Um, so I'm going to vamp for a bit because the first minute of uh, YouTube content needs to not have certain words and I'm just going to experiment whether or not like going clean and sanitized for the first minute actually boosts this in the algorithm. Um, I kind of have a feeling it won't anyway, but it's worth trying. Um, and what I'll also say uh, during the beginning here is that uh, if, if you do like this video or, you know, something else I do, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to hit the like button, um, you know, or just hit dislike. I like if you're being honest, I would rather have honesty. So uh, with that out of the way, um, I got a I got a message where effectively they said that my mic was noisy. Yeah. It is. Um, I don't have the cash on top of everything else to get replacement cables, which is, I think, what I would need. Um, so, if you decide you want to support this content, feel free. Like, ultimately, what I need, and, and, and like, need, are, like, YouTube subs, but also Patreon and or Kofi subs. Because those are going to be the best ways for me to establish an income and get my own place where I can do a variety of content that I haven't been able to do. So feel free to do that. Also, there will be a new video uh, tomorrow on a brand new channel, uh, which I will be posting to Twitter at JeremiahEXE, which is the video that I've been promising for a while, which is me eating uh, Buffalo Wild Wings Blazing Challenge Wings. Um, so if you want to see me, uh, in endure pain, then feel free, uh, cause I did in fact do the challenge, um, and I just haven't been arsed to get the thing together. So, uh, that'll be there tomorrow. Um, and honestly, it should have been there a lot sooner. It's like somebody actually paid me to do that. It, they, they didn't get to see it yet. So that's, that's a, my bad on that. Um, but ultimately, it'll be there tomorrow, and, uh, yeah, it, all that stuff aside, um, the Georgia Guidestones were blown up, or I, th I think it was just, like, the part of it with the tenet about, like, reducing the human population down to 500 million in perpetual harmony with nature, so, like, that's very cool. Not 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 the destruction or anything like that, but it's it's very cool. It's cool in this room. I would never advocate destruction of property. No. Um but the general uh thing that the general the Georgia Guidestones were were hey, if we just offed a bunch of people, um then we could <laughs> we could give you your freedom. Like, I, I shit you not with that with that plank if you've never heard of the georgia guidestones they've got like a lot of okay tenants but there's one that really fucking stands out which is that 500 million part because you know i don't know if you've looked up the world population but uh here i'll i'll give you i'll give you the the, the daily update um the the current world population is 7.753 billion. That means whoever made that, if we did that now, would have to kill 7.2.53 billion people plus. That's evil in its highest degree. And the rest of them are just sort of like gilding the lily because like ultimately when you're dealing with this shit, um, you're dealing with like, Hey, we could, we could be nice. We could have not too many laws. We could have not stupid officials. If we could just goddamn kill all ya. It's really fucking bad. And so it's one of the things that I've brought up repeatedly. The Georgia Guidestones. 
um, you know, the, the murals at the Denver International Airport, um, you know, the, the fucking, the pale horse, it, basically everything about Denver International, like the fascist symbology in the, the, uh, the Senate floor, fucking, like, or, or below Lincoln's hands, it's fucking hilarious that, that, that people don't connect more dots with, when it comes to fascism, because the original thing of fascism was, hey, Rome was great. Let's do what Rome did. And, and, and like, the U.S. thought of it first. Like, before Jean Tile, the U.S. was over here putting Roman symbology and all the shit. So you got fascist symbols everywhere, facies, and, like, other Roman symbols and shit like that. And, uh, and, and you know... It's sort of like the, it's a symbol of fascism, and you just can't call it that. You know? Uh, they, they make excuses for it on the NPS site. Maybe someday I'll, like, read through, like, some of the <laughs> justifications they use for this shit. But, like, yeah, it ain't good. All right? So, ultimately, um, right around the uh, the time... When people are saying that we might need, and I'm not making this up, more COVID lockdowns and more jabs, um, you know, right around that time, somebody got all irritated um, and, and, and like took out a rock with genocide suggestions on it, eugenics suggestions on it. And there are people legitimately upset about this. Like, I, you know, <laughs> I wish I was making it up. Um, just as a sample, right? I'm not going to go like a cavalcade of them. You know, maybe I'll make a worst of compilation of like all the things that people have been saying. But like, here's a good example. Um, let me make sure I've got this, this, this window set up properly. Um... <laughs> the uh, I posted a, a tweet about it to the uh, ANCAP versus ANCOM uh, Facebook debate group. Uh, and, and the tweet looks like this, because this is what I, I posted. It's just a bunch of news about it. And then I said, the Georgia Guidestones are a testament to evil. It's funny how everybody was supporting tearing down statues of Confederates, but a literal monument to population control and eugenics is somehow acceptable and needs to be protected. No. Sometimes people just have to say no. And and, and you know what this fucker did? He, he's like... The Guidestones were on private property. Confederate statues were on public property. Huge difference. Is it, though? I mean, yeah, sure. This was just, you know, a, a humble a humble landscaper's property who was paid by this eugenicist to put the fucking shit there. You know? But it, it, he was paid to put the fucking shit there on private property. So that means that somebody advocating genocide, who clearly doesn't reciprocate any sort of human rights or liberty or anything like that anyway yeah he he he's 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 a victim no 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 uh if somebody is advocating killing 7.253 billion people and a rock gets blown up that has his suggestion on it i don't care so that's my stance i don't know how radical that is um but ultimately, you know, it's not that radical. I'm, I'm, I'm saying the obvious. Uh, but ultimately, like, um, I, I wanted to show you guys that as sort of a counterpoint to this. So, Tim Bryant, uh, I don't know who this is, right? Tim Bryant posts a thing to Twitter. He's like, a listener sends me this pic of the Georgia guy. Well, actually... For some reason, the uh, the crop and pad is weird. I'll uh, I'll fix that. Um, 
but the guy's like, uh, a listener sent me this pic of the Georgia Guidestones in Elber, Colorado. Uh, folks report hearing a loud boom around four this morning. Uh, there looks to be some damage. So that's what he said. You may recall the monument was a talking point in the GOP campaign for governor raised by a fringe candidate. Really? Really? Like, you just had to immediately go there? Like, oh no! A Republican brought something up! Ah! A better look. Apparently some sort of explo- Yeah! If people report a loud fucking boom, maybe there was an explosion. <laughs> it... So, then, you get Atlanta anti-fascists. AFA uh, in ATL. 24.3k thousand followers. The Georgia Guidestones are the center of numerous ridiculous conspiracy theories. In recent years, the far right has become especially fixated with them, including the fringe Republican candidate, Candace Taylor. However, so far, the most plausible theory behind the stones is that they were commissioned and paid for by a rich racist doctor in Iowa named Herbert Kirsten, who is a fan of both David Duke and eugenics. If this is true, the far right are attacking what is essentially a monument built by a compatriot in service of their own ideals. Oh well. The destruction of the Georgia Guidestones will probably only seriously hurt two things. The feelings of an eccentric racist doctor in Iowa, who's dead anyway, and the long-term revenues of boiled peanut sellers along the road in Elbert County. And like, yeah, of course they're against it. Some or some somebody apparently fucking didn't believe. I don't care though. The conspiracists don't believe us. Okay, but try checking your narrative against reality and stop ignoring parts that don't fit. If you can't tell weird Freemason-looking satanic monuments when you see them, I don't know what to tell you. It's such a brain-destroying thing to say. Is it though? So, let's talk about that for a second. Are you an anti-capitalist? Do you identify as an anti-fascist? You should learn the word solidarity. Because this was an opportunity to reach out. And instead, so many, so many leftists are just being like, either completely dismissive of any problem with the stones. And I mean leftists or liberals in this sense, but like either completely dismissive of the stones or just like, oh, you can't have anything to say now because you're a Republican. You wouldn't want to be called a Republican, would you? It's like, I don't give a fuck. Uh, if, if what I'm doing is reasonable and right, then... Maybe ask yourself why you're not willing to be more like a Republican if that's what they're doing. Because, okay, let's just say for a moment that you are a legitimate anti-fascist and or anti-capitalist and that the socialist symbology in your uh, fucking flags there is real. The Freemasons and, like, secret societies that... Uh, conspiracy theorists talk about that state capitalism and state capitalism with a prima facie and primary goal of eugenics is fascism so maybe instead of mocking people as conspiracy theorists destroying their brains and not doing exactly what I want you could like reach out in solidarity and it's not just them either. It's like a fuck ton of people are just like, it's a conspiracy theory. You can't say that about that. And, and you're being conspiracy theorist. Like, if you use the term conspiracy theorist in a negative context, 
literally do the world a favor and smash your device. Do not have it anymore. You're not using it. Because you could, you know, use your access to uh, a virtually unlimited informational superhighway to learn what the word theory means. And, and what do I mean by that? Well, uh, I mean that a theory is scientifically tested, right? A theory isn't just <laughs> something in the ether. That, at the very best, is a hypothesis. So I, I wrote over here a couple things. Um, I wrote this one, which is that uh, a theory is a tested hypothesis in the final stage of the scientific method. Gravity is a theory, and so is everything else in the theoretical space. Whenever anyone dismisses something as a conspiracy theory, it proves they do not understand what a theory is. Just saying. So, I wrote that one. And I also wrote uh, this one, uh, that uh, something that still gets me angry, this isn't some conspiracy theory, it's fact. It's this arrogant, obsequious assumption that something can't be fact if it says people are conspiring. Like, nah, history is absolutely fraught with conspiracy. Not mutually exclusive, yo. You know, like, maybe we could learn from history. You, how about this? Just to reach out to the anti-capitalists making this a Republican issue when it fucking isn't. How about this to reach out in solidarity? You say that moneyed interests have uh, generationally pooled their wealth in such a way as to rig the system against the workers, disenfranchised minorities, etc., and to create a perpetually rigged system where those that have decide who has and has not, where the workers don't keep the means of and result of their production, right? Where they are forced to work in this system because all resources have been capitally acquired and are capitally distributed by a state capitalist system. Um, and all of this is done by people who do all this stuff in basically, you know, secrecy while having a public face of representation. Like what you'll see in Peter Coffin's Representation Matters, right? Very important documentary. Um... You know, maybe that's a conspiracy. Maybe the best uh, fucking assessment of the state capitalism idea and the, you know, idea of uh, capitalism as a mode of tyranny uh, relies on the idea that there's a lot of people conspiring against the working class. Maybe just a little? Like, just a little. Can we just say that maybe Republicans aren't the end-all, be-all, blame-all? And by the way, I'm not a Republican. I don't like them either. But, you know, like, this is bullshit. And it's bullshit that the left is full of. Because if you can just dismiss your opponent as a conspiracy theorist, while not acknowledging that you are also indeed by function and form a conspiracy theorist, then you don't have to acknowledge anything they say. And, you can justifiably shake off the idea of solidarity because those people are bad and icky. Which is why it's oftentimes not a workers' union you really want. It's a, 
union of socialists or a union of leftists. You don't care about solidarity or the working class. Um, and people who do are called class reductionists. Yeah, like, wanting to unite with people closer to the bottom of the hierarchy so that maybe they can do something about the hierarchy? That's class reductionism! Because you're not, like, intersectional enough, even though, like, the class includes everybody in the intersectional cross-section. Oh, sorry, I didn't start this whole video by saying point of personal privilege. Damn it! I'm being white again. So, like, maybe you believe in a conspiracy theory. Maybe you should stop, like, brushing everybody else off as a class reductionist. Maybe the right can be right sometimes. And just so you don't think that I hate, hate, hate the left, um, and, and love, love, love me some Republicans I'm defending so much, um, let me be super clear Follow me on TikTok at Insanity is Free. Yes, that's a plug. Fuck you. Um, I went over uh, a shit ton of things inconvenient to Republicans very recently. And one of those things was a video where, because somebody um, <laughs> didn't like that I was saying Biden is basically just a Republican, they said... Biden has a liberal world order, and he's he's coming to take our guns. Republicans don't do that. <laughs> oh man, it's like it's like when like so I, I I responded to an NRA tweet today, uh with with the video explaining this, um, but the NRA is some of the worst in terms of gun uh, activism. They suck asshole um and so they were being responded to by somebody else the, the 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 governor of place where highland park is right the governor of illinois is just like Neh. um you know <laughs> uh this this tweet here um since 1950 94 percent of mass public shootings occurred in gun-free zones and that'd be fine if they weren't the reason those gun-free zones are there. But, like, they <laughs> are. Um, they have been directly responsible for a huge amount of gun control legislation, and a significant amount of that has been to reinforce racism. Oh, no, the Black Panthers have guns! Quick, ban them! That's literally it for some of these people. Um, and that's, you know... That's what the video is. It's saying that. It's also demonstrating that, you know, Nixon, Reagan, um, you know, <laughs> Donald Trump uh, all had views supporting gun confiscation and control, um, you know, and also that Henry Kissinger and George H.W. Nazi fucking piece of shit Bush uh, were both uh, the basic main people who, like, supported and promoted the idea of a new world order. So, like, Republicans aren't good either. And, yeah, you know, Republicans should definitely consider whether or not what they're doing is affiliated uh, in a positive way with uh, the, the Georgia Guidestones or in a negative way. And what I mean by that is maybe you're supporting it a little bit more than you think when you support some of the policies you support. But don't lead with that and don't make it all about that. Like we could have a, a collective sort of like, like, you know, group therapy session between us and, and you know, really celebrate the downfall of a, of a piece of rock that represented fundamental evil. Is we doing that? No, we's blaming Republicans. It's like every mass shooting. Oh no, he has Trump posts. 
Let's blame every Trump supporter and ignore all the leftists who commit violence at all. And all the right-wingers who, who, who we support because they support Biden. Another right-winger who we won't like to talk about being right-wing because that makes us seem a little bit wrong. And maybe we're not perfect and shouldn't act like it, but golly gee, that would involve some self-reflection. Oh, we can't do that! Yeah, you can, and you should. Right? Just, like, take a moment, take a breather. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And then close your mouth, like... Mm. See how easy that was? And you didn't have to make something about the political opponent. You know, when it wasn't. When it was really about a fundamentally sick society. Where this sort of statue is, like... Emblematic of it! There, there's an experiment called Rat Park where if you improve the cage, the rats will stop being addicts. They, like, gave them cocaine and normal water. And the rats would go to the cocaine in the shit-ass cage. And they would go to the water in the better cage. That's how it is. People will be healthier. People will do less shit like that. Like, acts of violence if society wasn't a fundamentally cruel and evil place to be. And if monuments like this didn't stand as testaments to how evil things are. That's my rant. Um, <laughs> if you like that, like, share, and subscribe. I've been Jeremiah Harding. <laughs> Smash the fucking state.